Happening today here in Denver, the second in a series of events to share the roads with everything but cars. It's called Viva Streets, and it shuts down a large length of Broadway through downtown. Now, despite today's rain, as Marissa Armas found out, people were still excited to make the most of it. June's Viva Streets looked a little different than May's. Several people arriving with ponchos and umbrellas in hand. Today it's a little rainier and a little colder than what we were hoping for. Despite the showers, some Denverites came out to walk, ride and scoot along 3.5 miles of downtown streets for the second Viva Streets event. While the roads were closed to vehicles, they again stayed open for pedestrians. Sunday's event wrapped up early because of weather. Today, we've seen a lot of people that have showed up, have fun in the rain and make the most of it. Um, I mean, Colorado is such a biking outdoor city anyway. People have the equipment to be riding in the rain. That's how they get to work. That's how they get around. Our very own CBS News Colorado crew is a sponsor of the event. Local businesses also play a large part. And last month's success brought even more interest this time around. So this year, a lot more businesses pulled stuff out onto the streets and really put activations together around Viva Streets, which is amazing to see. Allowing people to experience Denver in a different way, rediscovering all of the great neighborhoods the city has to offer. We have a lot more umbrellas this time, and you know, next time in July, we're just going to cross our fingers and hope it's a little sunnier. In Denver, Maurice Armas, covering Colorado First.